Hi, my name is Susan Alexander and I'm from The Funky Professor. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the biceps. Now, the biceps muscle in the arm is formerly known as the biceps brachii because, of course, there is one other biceps to be found in the body. This is, in fact, in the leg and known as biceps femoris. But when most people talk about the biceps, they are usually referring to the biceps in the arm. Which brings me to my first interesting point about the biceps, which is to say that the biceps is undoubtedly the most famous muscle in the body. You can go anywhere in the world and ask somebody to show you their biceps and they will bend their elbow and flex their muscles. You can't say the same of many other muscles. For example, do you know where your sartorius is? You may also be surprised to hear that we communicate with our biceps. Some men flex their biceps to demonstrate power over their opponent. And some men even use it as a tool to attract a sexual mate. Many people spend several hours in the gym trying to get their biceps looking bigger and stronger. But the biceps is also interesting from an anatomical perspective as the biceps is the only muscle in the body which has an intra-articular origin. So let's take a closer look. The biceps is situated in the anterior or front part of the upper arm between the shoulder joint and the elbow joint. The name biceps gives you the clue that it has two attachments at one end. And in the case of the biceps brachii, it does indeed have two heads at its proximal or upper part. Both of these heads originate from the scapular bone or shoulder blade as this is commonly known. One head comes from the coracoid process of the scapula. This is the bit of bone that sticks out at the upper and front part of the shoulder blade and it is called the short head of the biceps. The other head comes from the glenoid or the upper part of the glenoid which is at the side or the lateral aspect of the scapula. This tendon is the long head of biceps and it is a lovely, long, slender tendon that snakes out of the shoulder joint in a valley of bone known as the bicipital groove, which is in the proximal or upper part of the humerus or arm bone. It then meets the short head of biceps tendon. Both of these tendons fuse together to form the wonderful muscle belly that we famously use to demonstrate strength. The muscle then forms the distal tendon, which crosses the elbow joint to find its way to attach to the tuberosity of the radius bone, which is situated in the forearm. The biceps or biceps brachii is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve which comes from C5, C6. This nerve, of course, supplies all of the muscles in the anterior compartment of the arm, which is to say the biceps, the brachialis, and the coracobrachialis. As a memory jogger, I use the mnemonic BBC. BBC, biceps, brachialis, and coracobrachialis. Now, most people think that the biceps flexes the elbow or bends the elbow and they would be quite right. However, the biceps does another very important function. It supinates the forearm. So when people rupture or tear their biceps at the radius or distal attachment, they can often still bend the elbow because there is another muscle, the brachialis, that can do this. But supination, however, is very weak if you rupture your tendon. So if you have a job that involves twisting your arm a lot, such as using a screwdriver, then this injury can have a major impact on your ability to work. The biceps can also rupture at its upper end, the long head of biceps. In fact, this injury occurs more commonly than ruptures to the distal tendon. Tearing of the long head of the biceps causes the tendon to drop down through the bicipital groove and the lateral part of the biceps muscle belly bunches up in the arm and can become quite prominent when you try and flex your muscle. As clinicians, we call this the Popeye sign. It is named after the famous cartoon character Popeye. To find out more about the biceps, 
go to our website www.thefunkyprofessor.com for a fantastic video demonstration by Professor Vishimahadevan. Your anatomy matters.